Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Arnold Sky Shader. And so far, we've used the physical sky shader and uh, we were able to provide a refle reflection and refraction rays by connecting the physical sky to the um, uh, render settings slot. So we've connected it here and we were able to get reflection and refraction rays provided for the shaders to use. And let's say we wanted to use texture instead. So if I switch this back uh, to texture and choose a texture, when I hit a render, let me remove this, and let's hit a render, we're going to see uh, the, uh, the, uh, the reflection of the direct specular and indirect specular Picking up the sky dome, we're going to see diffuse, but we're not going to get any reflection and refraction. So we need a way to provide uh, camera rays. We want to see this HDR in the background, and we want to have reflection and refraction rays provided for the shader to use. And what we need to use, uh, what we need to do is we need to create our own custom shader. And for that, I'm going to switch to shader here, and we don't need this anymore. And we're going to create a new one. So I'm going to hit the uh, tab key and go under Arnold and create an Arnold Shader Network. And to clarify the actual, the Arnold Physical Sky is is the, exactly this node here and if we dive inside the Arnold Physical Sky you can see there is the actual uh, shader and then it has these two outputs. So we need to provide this for the uh, in our custom shader. And I'm going to go back and let's call this environment with texture and I'm going to dive inside and right now it's empty there is uh, there is the out material which we don't need we only need the uh, out environment so if I hit tab and I go under output you can see these are all the uh, available outputs we need the uh, light output and we need the environment output and what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new node called Sky. And this node allows you to read in an, an HDR image and map it properly so that it, it's uh, angular or mirror ball or let long. And uh, for this node, we need to connect the actual uh, environment map that we want to use. So I'm going to create an image and connect the output. And we want to select our texture and I'm going to connect the output into the background and this is what the render settings environment uh, slot will use and for the uh, for the uh, outlight we want to connect the color and now if I go back to the uh, object level and select the sky dome actually let me rename this we can assign the color shader that we created and we've called it environment with texture. So now if I hit render, we should see the HDR. We should see exactly the same result as if we connected the, uh, uh, as if we plugged the texture directly here. And we are, we're getting exactly the same result. And if we go to the out context and select the render, the Arnold render node and select the same shader the environment with texture, we should see uh, the reflection and refraction rays being provided. Cool. So we have everything working using an HDR. Now, if you notice, there is there was a brightness difference in terms of diffuse. The diffuse has gotten brighter. And the reason for that is the uh, this sky node here can also provide diffuse and glossy rays and shadow rays and we don't want that because we only want the sky dome to be providing that information we don't want the the shader to do that and all we have to do is under the environment we have to uncheck diffuse glossy and shadows and now if i hit render we're only getting the uh the shadow diffuse and glossy from the sky dome and we're going we're getting the rest of the rays from the uh, environment light and this is this should uh, work perfectly in any scenarios uh, that we need and that's pretty much it this is how you use a custom uh, texture and uh, be able to provide a reflection and refraction rays for all node to use 
and at the same time use it with uh, Skydome for the main illumination. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.